Rich, do you have any tasty hors d'oeuvres I can serve at my next party? I got you covered. Stay tuned. Hi everyone, welcome to Cooking with Chef Rich. Today we have a guest chef and comedian, singer, all around entertainer and very, very long time friend, Candace Eisenberger. Hello, I'm so happy to be here with you. Thank it's you so nice much for having me. It's nice to have you. Candace's brother, Greg, is a very, very long time friend of mine, 30 plus years. Yes. And he still talks to me, which is really nice. Is that nice of him? It is, it is. <laughs> Anyway, so um, you want to learn how to make, well, I'm going to show you a very, very simple hors d'oeuvre today. Okay. Uh, beef on a stick, really seriously very simple. Great. So over here we have a, this is a homemade teriyaki sauce, but you can always buy like a Lecho brand teriyaki if you okay. don't want to make it. Um, what this is, is basically sauteed garlic, ginger, um, soy sauce and brown sugar and a little bit of water. I will be listing that in the ingredients down below. I have some ribeye that I sliced very, very thin in the pieces. I have some chopped garlic and some chopped ginger. Uh, Delicious. Teaspoon of each and some skewers. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna put the meat in the bowl. Okay, that seems simple enough. I'm gonna spread it out, like, yeah, three, a little like... bit, not really. Okay. We're gonna pour the uh, teriyaki sauce on top. Okay. You're gonna take the garlic and ginger and put it in there. All of it? Yep. Okay. And then you're just gonna give that a really nice mix together, very gently. Ooh, and gently, gently marinate. Yep, nice. gently massage. And we're gonna let that sit for a half hour, 45 minutes. Does that feel good? It's a nice massage. And we're gonna let this marinate just for about 45 minutes or so, and I will show you what to do in 45 minutes. See you, see you soon. Good job, Candace. All right, thank you. So our beef on a stick has been marinating probably for 45 minutes or an hour now. Uh, just so you know, you can actually prepare this the day before, leave it in your refrigerator, just cover it. Just prep it the day before and use it right when you need it. Perfect. So um, as a caterer, like I'm always doing things beforehand, so right. it's ready for the party. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a skewer, okay. take, a, take a piece of beef, and you just kind of um, start at the bottom. You just kind of go in and out. I see. And try not to skewer your finger. Yeah, exactly. And then just bring it down and set it down, just like so. Okay. Well, nice and easy. Nope. Uh, you can also do this with chicken. Uh, you can do it with chicken. If you roast off tofu first, you can uh, do this with tofu. Actually, you don't even have to, uh, um, you just have to be careful when you're marinating it because it's very fragile. But right. you could do this with tofu. Uh, you could do it with the portobello mushroom. Sorry. Ooh. Now, would the tofu stay on the stick? Yeah, why not? Yeah. You just you just go straight through as opposed okay. to in and out. Yeah. Like if you do like a um, like, like a, a firm, it have to be yeah. an extra firm. Tofu, yeah. Right. It, extra firm tofu and um, yeah, like you just cut like a, a rectangular block. It's, you know. Half inch by half inch by you know, two inches long. But who really wants tofu on a stick? I mean, you really want the beef on a stick, right? Uh, for me, 100%. Um, I don't really eat tofu, but I am always concerned about my um, vegan and vegetarian watchers. That is true. So that is true. I always try to give helpful options. hints. Yeah, yes. I have options. Because it's beef, it is a little pricey. But what is that, cut of meat is this? Uh, so I'm using ribeye, okay. but um, a lot of people use flank steak. Uh, which is a less expensive cut. Mm -hmm. um, I try to use like a decent quality beef though. I'm actually very impressed that I haven't poked a hole in these gloves yet. I haven't poked a hole in your hand yet. <laughs> or my hand. More importantly. Even better. All right. And now what else we're gonna do, so you can actually grill these if you want to grill them. Um, the easiest thing is to throw them in the oven for probably about 10 minutes or so. Okay. And uh, they'll be done in 10 minutes. So I'm going to throw them in the oven and I'll see you in a few. So our beef sticks were in the oven for right about 10 minutes. I took them out and just put them on a plate. And I garnished them with just a little bit of black and white sesame seeds and sliced scallion. And, and this beautiful orange flower. This beautiful orange flower. Orange peel flower. Orange peel flower. Would you like to try? I would love to. Great. 
so I'm gonna try not to skewer myself. Hmm. How is it? It's really, 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 really good. good. Do you have any upcoming shows? Do you have a Facebook page? Would you like to plug something? Yes, of course. Uh, my band's name is Next Stage. That's NX Stage. So you can find us on Facebook. Um, we're Next Stage Music there. And also you can find me where I'm performing on my comedy shows at Candace Eisenberger on Facebook or Instagram. All right, I'll make sure I put links below in, my, in the description. You'll find links to, uh, to find Candace if uh, you want to go check her out. And uh, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much, Rich. You know, this been was lot, awesome yeah, and delicious. A lot, lot of fun. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please hit the subscription button if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, leave your comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. And I will see you in the next video. Be safe, everyone.